Hey folks, welcome back to another video and I want to show you here some new things. So first up, I bought a small little screen here of Amazon for around 120 bucks. It wasn't expensive, it looks great and it's also a touchscreen, right? So I can interact here with some stuff. And then my idea was maybe I can use the screen as a metering additional or additional metering screen. And there are a lot of different applications on the market for metering or for visualizations. Let's say I use uh, 4x by um, Noisia and I use mini meters and so on. But then I came up with the idea, maybe you can develop your own kind of visualizers, right? And I had this strange idea to do this actually inside of the browser. So these are just web applications. So this is a web page, this is a web page, and this is a web page. And these two here are currently available. Um, this one here, you go to vectorscope.polarity.me and this one is spectrum.polarity.me. And I put the link in the description below. So this one here is um, a spectrogram and it's currently in development. I need a bit of time. I want to implement some features here. I have some ideas. Uh, so this is not available at the moment. It's only locally here uh, running on my PC. Uh, but these two are uh, at the moment publicly available on my web page. And they are completely free. You don't need to pay anything. There's no subscription or anything. Um, it's just a very simple, straightforward uh, web application with vanilla JS. There's no React or any big library involved. It's very straightforward and slim and uh, lightweight. Um, the code is also very easy to read and there's a lot of documentation inside of these files on GitHub. So you can fork it for yourself if you want to and you can tweak it, you can add some features if you want to. Um, there's also here on the bottom, there are awesome links here to GitHub and uh, to all the other tools. And um, yeah, I want to show you how this works here in this video. So like I said, this one is probably available next week or the end of this week. I need to need a bit of time to implement some features, some ideas. This one is available and this one is also uh, currently available. So I want to show you here this on my uh, main screen. Uh, how this works. Maybe we stop this here for a moment and I bring up here the vector scope, this one here. Um, let's bring this down. Um, you can see here the URL is actually very easy. It's just vectorscope.polarity.me. So nothing special. You go to this website and then um, it looks like this. And then all you have to do, maybe I disable this here for a moment. All you have to do is just hit start analyzing. And then the website asks you for an input, an audio input. And here I'm just choosing my loopback device, which is everything that's, that goes out of my sound card is actually going into this uh, input device. It's just a feature of my sound card, but most sound cards are most, um, yeah, most sound cards have this uh, already in there. If you don't have it, maybe you can work with an external loopback cable. So you have to go out of your um, sound card and then back into your sound card or a different sound card and then record it. Or maybe you use some kind of um, virtual audio devices. There are a lot of things. I maybe put also a link in the description below so you can download this. There are free devices that do this for you. So here I just use the loopback device so I can record in this web application here everything that goes out of my sound card. Just say uh, allow it here and then this goes black and then maybe I put this here into uh, always on top mode. Let's see. Uh, it's always on top and then I can go here into Bitwig. Maybe I increase here the input gain. And 
And yeah, this is the left side here. This is the right side of the uh, panorama. So um, if I bring this down, so this is mono, right? This is a mono signal when you have a straight line in the middle. This is the left side, right side. So it's not only it looks nice as a visual, but you can also see if you have um, yeah, a monophonic signal or you have a very wide signal. For instance, right, you can back here you know, to mono and then we use this here. So the left side has a different uh, frequency than the right side. Looks like this. So it looks nice. You can maybe record this or just have it on your second screen so you can immediately see if something is mono or it's stereo or how wide it is with this uh, vector scope. You can also see uh, the left channel, the right channel, mid and side if there is uh, some information there. See, this is very wide. There's no side information, so it's a monophonic signal. So this is how this uh, scope works and I did this here the recent two days coded this and um, yeah you just go to vectorscope.polarity.me and you can use it. There's also here a link to the GitHub page. Um, so like I said here this is pretty straightforward. Um, there are multiple files, there's documentation in there. There's no library is used here. It's all vanilla JS. So if you can code vanilla or if you can code uh, JavaScript, um, you probably have no problems to uh, tweak this to your liking. Um, you can also file some issues if you have bugs or if you have some ideas for features, just let me know. Um, so this is this one. And then there's a different one here. Let's go to uh, spectrum analyzer. It's also here on GitHub, right? You can try out a demo. Brings you back to spectrum.polarity.me. Do the same thing here. You start, select the loopback device. There are also here some options. Um, can change the colors and so on. So a lot of different features and ideas I had. Yeah, like I said, everything is kind of work in progress. Um, there are probably some changes in the future, but you can try it out uh, for yourself in the browser. You don't need to install anything. You just go to the web page and then you have it. Um, then there's here my. What's this here? This is here my spectrogram, and this is running locally here. And, uh, it's the combination here. Um, it needs a bit of time. I have some features already here implemented. Um, we have different color themes here, FFT size that change. Um, um, yeah, like I said, it takes a bit of time. I have some ideas for this. Um, it's in development. It's coming soon. I want to show you this actually just in this video. Uh, maybe you are interested in this. Um, links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. If you have some questions also in the comments, let me know. Um, and leave a like, leave a subscription. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.